right, just a quick second channel video. I've got a work experience student um, who shall remain nameless behind me. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and he um, he's interested in electronics, but he um, and he knows what a multimeter is, voltage, and everything else. But he hadn't seen an oscilloscope, seen or used an oscilloscope before. And he said, "What's an oscilloscope?" So. That's what this video is. What is an oscilloscope? Um, it's going to be very simple, not a polished video at all. I've got a power supply over here with a knob and I can generate a voltage. I won't explain what a voltage is. You should know. So assuming you're familiar with a multimeter, a multimeter displays um, uh, the current input voltage that you feed in. And if I switch it on, for example, I've got it uh, outputting five volts. So that's exactly what we read on our multimeter there. And if I turn the knob like this, adjust it down, the multimeter will match the voltage on there. So it's, it's simply a voltage measurement device. Now, an oscilloscope is also a voltage measurement device. It's absolutely no different in that respect. It displays voltage. That's pretty much all it does, except it measures voltage with respect to time. So what I mean here is let's feed in our five volts. Well, let's actually. Let's connect up our oscilloscope here on our input, our channel one input here. I won't explain all the functions of an oscilloscope yet um, in this video. I'll just explain what it does. Basically, an oscilloscope does exactly the same thing. It measures voltage with respect to time. So voltage is uh, on the y-axis here. So the lower voltage is down here. You can, for argument's sake, we've got the uh, reference point here, which you can see that line here, we can actually move that line up and down like that. And we can, I've got both an analog, old school analog oscilloscope and a digital oscilloscope up the top here. They work very similar, but the uh, digital one has a unique uh, feature that we'll see in a minute. Now, uh, the analog oscilloscope, we've got what's called the volts per division setting down here. And if we have a look down here, we've got it actually set with a times one input. Well, I won't explain that, but let's just say it's one volt per division. And a division on the screen is one of these little squares. Um, so if we feed in no voltage at all, we can adjust our position control here to let's say the dot is right, let's say our line is like this, okay? Let, we've got our tray, it's called a trace, and our trace is on that second one from the, I could put it right down the bottom, but it, it might slightly be off and it's more difficult to see. That's our reference line, that's our zero volt line. Okay, so we're feeding in zero volts and we're getting that line. Now, on one volt per division, if we feed in five volts, bingo, you'd expect it to jump up by five divisions. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's exactly what it done. So it's displaying exactly the same thing, not with the same precision, not with the same resolution as you can get on a multimeter here. In, this is a 50,000 count multimeter. So basically it's got uh, four decimal place uh, resolution here. So that's very good. You can't get the same resolution on an oscilloscope, but that's not the purpose of an oscilloscope like this. It's designed uh, to view waveforms with respect to time. So if we actually, let's, okay, I've got both an analog and a digital, and in this case, both will work exactly the same. If I adjust that knob here, in fact, I'll turn it out fast like this. So they're both identical, okay? And that line just goes up and down and we can work out our voltage. Either we can do it manually or on a modern digital scope, it can actually calculate, it can measure and calculate and give you a voltage display reading just like a multimeter. So what do you want an oscilloscope for? Well, to see voltages change with time. So um, in this case, what we'll do is we'll slow it down, okay? And this is what an analog oscilloscope is quite good at. If I slow it down to seconds per division over here, so it can take X amount of seconds or milliseconds or microseconds or nanoseconds to go across. An analog oscilloscope always starts from the left-hand side and sweeps over to the right, and then it retraces back like this. It has to do that to display the image. The digital one works the same, but it has an interesting feature which we'll show at the minute. And if we move our... 
voltage up and down. I should use a better pot than this. If I did, we can maybe see it change with time. Now here's where the digital oscilloscope, we can put it in what's called roll mode, okay? And it works slightly differently in that it doesn't retrace. It's like a, a chart recorder, those old fashioned seismic chart recorders or something like that. Now watch, if I move this, I can actually generate, you might be familiar with this, I'm very crudely trying to generate a sinusoidal wave there or any sort of wave like that. You can see it change with time. And if we slow it down even more, then we can really start to see that on that digital storage oscilloscope. And that's something that we can't see on that. Well, you can see, you can kind of follow it on the multimeter, but you don't get the same visual representation as you would on an oscilloscope uh, like this. So that is one of the big advantages. You're displaying voltage on the y-axis versus time on the x-axis. And the oscilloscope can measure things very quickly. And all modern digital electronics works on very fast changing signals, which you can't see on a multimeter. So you need a, an oscilloscope to give you a, a window into what's happening inside your electronic circuits. And the, you can see voltages change with time. And that's pretty much all it is except you can view really fast stuff. And if I had a uh, oscilloscope probe, I'd, ah, no, oscilloscope probe, David. <laughs> the lab's in a state of flux at the moment and I want this video to be a single take. Mm -hmm. Ah, I should have said that. Ah, There's ah. A box. There's a whole box of them. There's a whole box of them. It says probe, so that's in the bottom. Yeah. Ah. It's still one take, Dave. Everyone will just... Ah, oh, no, it's even missing from oh, here. Ah, that's the wrong type of plug. Why does that exist? Here we go. We've now got an oscilloscope probe. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go up here. Oscilloscope probe, and I'll actually, fit, I'll actually measure a probe adjust signal. Oh, hang on. There we go. There we go. We now have an example of a fast change. In this case, it's only a one kilohertz signal, um, i.e. it changes a thousand times uh, per second. But we can see this square wave here, which goes across up very fast rise time in here. And we can actually see, there we go. We can see that's like one microsecond per division. So one division here, that is rising, that signal is rising in one microsecond or one one millionth of a second. There's no way you'd ever see that on a multimeter, even though multimeter technically, if it had a fast enough converter and everything else, you could actually see it. But the oscilloscope allows you to see really fast changing signals like that. So this is 100, no, 200 nanoseconds. So really fast changing signals, you can actually see exactly what's happening in your circuit. And that's the advantage of an oscilloscope. And also the advantage of a digital oscilloscope is that you can actually uh, single shot trigger this as well. So you can go like that and it's captured the waveform and I can disconnect that uh, completely and it's captured our waveform so that we can go in there and analyze it like that. Um, and also the oscilloscope Although this is more of a practical a practicality of actually getting something on the screen, you see how it's a nice stable signal like that. If we actually adjust our trigger level here, which is this line here, where it's going to trigger from, if we go up here, it's, it should, well, not trigger. And it's not, okay? So it's not updating that screen display anymore. It's not doing anything. But if we move it down, Bingo, it allows us to trigger the signal. But that's a whole nother video. But that is what an oscilloscope allows you to do. And if your signal is doing something like this, I won't explain jitter, but if your signal is jumping back and forth really, really fast like that, you'll be able to see it on your oscilloscope. So that's what an oscilloscope is. It's just like a multimeter, measures voltage, but does it with respect to time like that. Is that clear, Liam?
Yeah, yeah. Now you know what an oscilloscope is. Yeah. Vital tool for seeing inside circuits. So if you're probing your circuits or your modern uh, stuff that you're used to, how they work, you can't see it with any other tool except an oscilloscope. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Catch you next time.